Jean from Living Skies Vintage. Back today to show you some stuff that came in the mail last week and a few thrifting finds. So let's take a second and we'll look down here. Hold on. Okay, here we are. Now, I'll show you what came in the mail first. And if you guys were watching closely at the beginning, you would have seen that I was wearing something that I have been looking for. Now this, what came in the mail this week was from one person only, Dana Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Vintage. And this is what you saw me wearing. Oops. This beautiful pool of light with a moonstone dangle. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that glow from within. That's a rock crystal quartz. No drills. Just pure, beautiful quartz. So, that is a, how would you say it? A piece, a, a keeper piece. Something that will stay with me forever. Now also, I got from Dana, I purchased this little kitty cat brooch which I think is pretty cute he's got some lovely little green eyes and a lovely little rhinestone color I think he's more of a white jaguar than an actual kitty cat so to speak and then I also had purchased from Dina this beautiful set it's not sterling but it, it it's a beautiful mother of pearl, or sorry, abalone, I should say, blocks with, I think that's, I think that's an enamel in the back. But it's a gorgeous little festoon necklace with matching earrings, matching earrings, and a bracelet. And I thought that was a, just a great little set. Great little set. Like I said, not sterling, but I think it's I think it's lovely and it's just great. And then the last thing that I got from Dana that I purchased was something that I've seen and heard a lot about, and I I've never actually saw one up close but this is a Kirk's Folly Kirk's Folly you can see the there's the tag Kirk's Folly and this beautiful gold chain with Aurora Borealis stations kind of a rosy pinky color that ends in a pendant with three dangles so it's a kitty cat in a heart and then you've got a winged cat several winged cats and hearts on the on the dangle so that's going to be fun to wear and that's a Kirk's Folly that is a a vintage doobie this is probably vintage now actually because it would have been out in the 80s so that would make it vintage now oops I should put that in the middle here let's not hide it let's put that right there love those cats I have a cat I don't know if anybody any of you know this but I do have a cat and then Dana is such a sweet sweet lady she sends little gifts so she sent me this cute little alpaca, alpaca bracelet. I'm pretty sure it's alpaca with, uh, again, some of the black. Kind of goes with this too, doesn't it? Um, abalone and black, black enamel. And then she heard I was Scottish, so she, <laughs> or the last name is Scottish anyways. 
and she sent me this lovely little uh, Scottish thistle with a beautiful, beautiful uh, purple, purple stone. So we get huge Scottish thistles that grow in Saskatchewan. Uh, they grow to be like five or six feet high if you don't if you don't knock them down. So this is what I got from Dana Stewart Coats Killer Queen Vintage. Thank you so much. I love these. It's I always like to kind of wait, and I tend to forget what I've got got when I uh, do wait to have people send me things. So that's what I got. But I have also got, found a few things while I was out thrifting. So I'm just going to put this there and bring these over. So here's a couple of lovely, uh, I would say bone china. They are definitely a ceramic of some sort and it wouldn't surprise me both say made in England on them. And this one actually has a number that looks engraved and it may have had the pin replaced, but they're both quite pretty. Th this one has a teeny tiny chip off of that leaf, but it's at the back. I can't see it at the front. The flowers, all of the tips of the flower petals are, are just in gorgeous shape. And you can see how how thin and fine they are. So I thought that these were just sweet little bone china pins, I would think. And then I found a pair of earrings. Now these, I believe, are Milfiore. You can see the, the flowers. And I don't know if you can see, but a true Milfiore, you can actually see where they've cut the long tubes to make the flowers. Because in order to make the flower, I don't know if you can see it. I, I can kind of see through the edge of the glass and through the clear part of the glass. But to make the flower which is a dot in the middle and then one two three four five dots around the outside they actually take long rods you know like like these different sizes different colors and they put them all together and then they and then they oh here pens here I can use. One, two, three, four, five. Put this one in. So you can kind of see how it you get these long rods and then from the end you get this flower kind of a look. And what they do to make the flowers is they just cut it all the way down. To, to get that flower shape. And that's why when you look for Milfiore, you should be able to see the tubes going through the, the material to that makes the flowers. So that's what I have learned about Milfiore. Also, what I found, it was a very light thrifting um, week. Not Didn't seem to be much out there, but um, I found, um, again, another uh, mother of pearl, blister pearl type of necklace. I would say this is probably from the 70s with the barrel clasp, choker, collar style. But you know, that's, I like this stuff. This is, you know, and I love the colors of that. Very, very earthy. And then another shell necklace, but I'd never seen one quite like this before. Well, you can see they've actually sliced the shells. 
in their in the spiral and then they've taken and drilled tiny holes and then strung it all together but isn't that pretty I think that is so pretty with all the little curly cues and everything else. It's just shell. Pretty. Now, here is a purchase that I paid a little up for this one, but I'm hoping that it's going to pay off in the end. It's a Silpada. Sterling silver bracelet watch marked marked every single piece is marked 925 925 the Silpata mark every single panel I love the curly cues that kind of hold the the watch the watch movement in place. So I have to get a battery for this, but it is here. I got my other watch on. Hold on. I think watches are going to come back because they are just so pretty. Really, look at that. And it has it has its uh, safety chain. Beautiful link on the chain. Just, you know, really, really, really well made. So yeah, that was that was my uh, bigger find for this week. So there we go my mail haul and my thrifting finds for this week and I hope you all liked it. I, um, if you're new to my channel I'm glad that you came and had had a little peek and if you've been here before I'm glad you came back to pay, spend some more time with me. Please like, share, subscribe, ring that bell and yeah we'll see you again soon. I'm going to be putting out another uh, journal video, too, so keep your eyes open for that. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye.